647, good morning. Hey, uh, we announced it at the top of the hour. Country star Carrie Underwood is coming to the Blaisdell for her first ever Hawaii show from Rick Bartolini uh, Presents. Uh, we're joined by Jake Henkels over on that side and Rick Bartolini, CEO. Good morning, sir. Good Before morning. we get into Carrie Underwood, congratulations on Janet Jackson. Thank you, thank you. Three was... nights. How was J Janet? Was Janet good? It was great, yeah. I mean, I'm sorry, I should rephrase that. Janet was happy about being here? Yes, yes. And she, um, we, it wasn't just three days with her. She was rehearsing during the week, so, you know. <sighs> Did she get some R&R while she was here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She came several days early. Yeah. Okay, yeah, very, yeah. very good. Yeah, now, yeah. Carrie Underwood, is this something that just came up, or is this something that you've been working on for a while? I started negotiating with her in early 2020 before everything crashed. Wow, COVID. Yeah, okay. so four years, yeah. So you kind of had to put that on the side yeah. and so revisit that. But you already had a relationship with her management team, right? Yeah, yeah. Her talent agent represents Journey. So. Oh, wow. And of course, yeah. you brought over Journey. So, yeah. OK, well, we'll talk about the future in a couple of moments. But, you know, from one of the biggest stars of country music, that's crazy to have her come in here. Yeah, we've never brought a country artist here. Not that she's just country, she's crossover, no. pop, rock, all of that, but we've never had a country act here. Now, for those of you, uh, if, if you remember, she was part of American Idol. Now, it's kind of put that into time context. She was the season right after Jasmine Trias and Ellie Mack, so uh, Carrie Underwood from the American Idol stable, but the the accomplishments that she's had, eight Grammys, 17 American Music Awards, 28 number one singles, 14 yeah. of which she co-wrote. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. It's yeah, crazy. as a matter of fact, you know, we had a chance to uh, ask her, because I wasn't familiar if she had been to Hawaii before. Check it out. This is what she told us. I have only been lucky enough to get to go to Hawaii one time um, in 2010 um, when we were filming the movie Soul Surfer. Um, it was super great time, uh, everybody was so nice, but we were very much there to work and uh, I don't feel like I really got to explore at all, so um, I'm looking, and I didn't sing either. Um, we, were, we were there to film, so I'm very much looking forward to um, getting to come back and, uh, and play a show and um, have some fun, like wander, wander around and explore a bit. Okay, so there you go. There you get go. a so chance good. to explore a little bit, so she'll get to have some time, hopefully, over here. Let's get to the nitty gritty. What's the dates and how do people get tickets? July 19th, Blaisdell Arena. I'll let Jake tell you about tickets. You can grab tickets this Saturday. Um, of course, we have a week-long Hawaii pre-sale, 10 a.m. Ticketmaster.com or rbpconcerts.com. Real quickly here, you've always been about that. You've always given Hawaii a chance to grab those tickets first before anybody else. Yeah, very important to us, especially it came up because of when, when Bruno performed the first time at the uh, arena and there was such uproar because all the tickets sold out in a matter of seconds and um, because of the computer bots, so that's how we shut them out. All right, once again, Rick Bartolini presents. Uh, go ahead, grab your tickets. Once again, they go on sale on Saturday. Information at the bottom of your screen, and we'll put this interview online on our website at hawaiinewsnow.com after sunrise. We're going to take a break. We'll be right back with more. Jake, thank you very much. Thank you. And Rick, go get them. Thank you. By the way, what other artists? You must be thinking of all kinds of other artists. Yeah. Over here. That's crazy. Yeah. That's awesome.